Hi guys, and welcome back. Today I'm going to be making a collar using um, one of the shackles. And um, these shackles were actually gifted to me by Pericore Galaxy. They were super kind to send me some. And I did do a, another video on how I used one in a collar that I made for Sander. And I've been kind of itching to make another one because I do like how they come out. Um, so I will be uh, using the shackle today. I have to use two so I can hook it up to my jig correctly. And I'll show you how I do that. And also, I will be using a 3 fourths um, O-ring. And that is so I can um, hook up my tags and the leash to the collar. The colors that I'm going to be using today are Imperial Red, Orange, and a uh, Red Blend. So I'm going to be starting with uh, the end of the shackle. I don't know what the parts are called so I do apologize for that. Hopefully next time I make a collar like this I'll know better. Um, but I am going to be starting with the side that where you would stick your pin in. Um, these shackles have a large hole at the end and that's where I'm going to be sticking my cord through. Now the first cord that I'm going to be putting through is the Imperial Red and you just want to put it right through that big hole to the other side. You're going to take this Imperial Red all the way to the middle of the cord. After you get it to the middle of the cord, what you're going to want to do is you're going to take that uh, cord again that you were working with and you're just going to, you're going, to, going around it again and you're going to go right through that hole the same side that you went through before. You're going to go through that hole and pull it through. I am using a pericord needle right now. Um, it's just a little bit faster with one. Once you've pulled it through, you see how it just looped around the end of the shackle? You're just going to make sure that that's nice and tight. You now can attach your loop end with the pin so you can put it on your jig. Also just to let you know real quick, on these um, loop ends you have a small hole and then you have a bigger hole you're going to stick your uh, pin through the bigger hole and then it screws on to the smaller hole. I put mine in the first hole closest to my cord, but you don't have to do that. You can choose whatever hole works for you. So I have the other end right here and I detached the, um, this piece right here. I took this piece off because I won't need this on this end. What I'm going to do now is I want to take my cord, make sure that you have your right end of your buckle um, up. You're going to take your cord and you're just going to push it through the front to the back of your uh, loop end. After you got it from the front to the back, make sure nothing's twisted and then you can pull those two loose cords right through the middle of the two cords that's attached at the bottom. Now I'm going to take this cord that is on the right side, um, that is the loose cord that's coming out of the middle. I'm taking the one on the right, I'm going to make a loop with it, and I'm going to go from the, I'm going to go to the right from the back to the front of the end part of that shackle and then you created this loop right here just now. What you're going to do is you're going to just pull that loop down through the other loop 
you're just going to pull on that loose end and just pull it through and there's your first cow's hitch now you're going to take the the left cord and you're just going to do the mirror image you're just going to take the left cord go to the left with it make a loop go from the back to the front of the end of the shackle and then you have the loop that you just made now right here you're going to pull and you're going to pull that loose end all the way through to make the second cow's hitch once you have everything um, nice and tight and on your jig double check your measurements and um, we can just get started adding the other cords the first cord that I'm going to be adding is the orange I am using a pericord needle I'm going to loosen these um, cow stitches up a little bit and I'm just going to go right through those two um, cow stitches and it is a little bit tricky because the end of the buckle is round. And you're just going to go just like that and pull it to the other side and pull it to the middle. The next color I'm going to add is the red blend and I'm going to go in underneath these two cow's hitch uh, stitches in the middle. So I'm going to go right in between the first cow's hitch, underneath the first stitch, underneath the second stitch, and up the second cow's hitch. So I'm just going through underneath these two middle stitches. I'm going to pull that and take it to the middle. Alright, once you have all of your um, cords to the middle, um, just tighten up your uh, cow hitches and um, double check your measurements because sometimes when you're pushing the cords through the, the double cow hitch, stuff can move around. So just double, double check. It doesn't hurt to double check. Um, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to uh, take my ring and I work on an inclining desk so I'm going to be using a uh, clothespin just to hold it in place because if I don't it's just going to slide down and give me a hard time. I also decided to roll up my um, cord. I did not roll up my red blend cord because I'm going to have to push that through the ring but I was able to roll up my other cords. So um, I'm going to be starting on my right side and I'm going to take my imperial red bundle and I'm what I'm going to be doing is going um, underneath this first cord that is on my right right up the middle and then over this second cord on my left. So you're basically just taking your bundle going right up the middle and then over to the left. The cord on my left, I'm going to um, take. I'm going to take the imperial red on my left now, and I'm going to go right underneath the cord that I just worked. And now I'm going to do the mirror image of what I just did. So I'm going to go under the first cord, which is now on my left, right up the middle, and over that second cord, which is on my right. And you'll have these two loops on each side. I'm going to take my orange now and I'm going to go underneath my work right up the middle and then the loop that I made on my right side I'm going to go right down that loop. Now I'm going to take the cord on my left and I'm going to go underneath right up the middle and then I'm going to go down the left loop I have these two horizontal pieces right here you can lift these up a little bit I'm going to take my clip off now I'm going to take my my uh, red blend that is on my right side and I'm just going to push that right through the ring from the back of the ring to the front and just pull that through. 
After you've gotten your cord through, you're going to go around these two horizontal pieces that are the uh, imperial red. And you're also going to be going around the bottom part of the ring. So you're going to take your cord and you're going to go... I'm going to make a loop and I'm just going to go around the two horizontal pieces, around that ring, and then you're going to come up through the middle and you're going to pull it to the right. So you're on the right side of the cord that you're working with. You're on that right side, right through the middle. Moving a little bit closer so you can see how I do the left side. So I'm going to take the left um, red blend and I'm going to push it through the ring and pull it through. And then I'm going to go around those two horizontal pieces. And it can get a little bit like messy, um, but you just be careful. Once you have your cord through, find those two horizontal pieces and then the ring and you're going to go around the two horizontal pieces and the ring. So I'm going to loop it up again like this. I'm going to take my cord and I'm going to go around those two horizontal pieces and around that ring and then I'm going to find the middle and bring it up and be on the left side of this cord that I'm working with and then pull it through. Now you can just tighten everything up. After you've gotten everything tightened up, what you can do now is you can actually um, take your red blend cords and you can push them through the ring and pull them through and then you can actually um, bundle them up if you want. Now that I got everything rolled up and this is nice and tight, I'm going to um, start the weave all over again from the beginning. So I'm going to take the Imperial Red on my right and I'm going to go underneath that first cord up through the middle and over that second cord. Take the Imperial Red on the left, go underneath the cord that I just worked right up the middle and over and then I have my two loops take the orange that is on my left sorry my right side and I'm going to go underneath my work right up the middle and down that loop on my right side take the one on the left now and go underneath your work right up the middle and down that left loop. Next I'm going to find the two um, horizontal imperial red pieces. I'm going to take my red blend now on my right side. I'm going to go over those two cords, go around them and out the left, sorry, right side. I'm going to take the one on the left side now and I'm going to go over those two cords around them and out the left side. And tighten it up. And you're just going to keep this weave going all the way down the collar. So I'm just going to go right up the middle with my Imperial Red on the right side and go over go underneath my cord that I just worked, go right up the middle again, and over. I have my two loops, take the orange on the right side, go underneath my work and up through the middle, and then go down that loop on my right side, take the orange on my left side, go underneath my work, right up the middle, and down that loop on the left side. Find those two horizontal pieces. 
take my red blend on the right side, go over and around those two horizontal pieces and out towards the right. Take the one on the left, go around and out towards the left and then you can tighten it up. So I've got a few more down so you guys can see what it starts to look like. And I'm going to continue this pattern all the way down and then I'll show you guys how I do my tie off. Alright guys, I'm at the end of my collar and I took it off the jig and now I'm going to um, sew in or weave in these two uh, multi-red color pieces that are coming out of the um, top part of the collar. Uh, the two uh, that are coming out of the side, the red and the solid orange, those I'm going to cut where they are. So what you want to do is you have this gap between your work and your uh, end of your shackle and you're just going to go through that gap with both of these uh, multi red color. Once you get it through you have the loop of the uh, solid red that was coming around the back side of your um, shackle. And what I'm going to do is, because I want that to come down, I'm just going to slip my needle between that cord and the shackle. And that's just going to make it nice and tight. I'm going to do it also with the other cord. I'm going to start on my sides when I cut it, but I am going to pull it a little bit tight just to make sure it's nice and tight. And you can see how that cord is now um, underneath. And that will just make all of this nice and tight at the top also. So I'm going to start with my sides. I'm going to go about a quarter of an inch down. I'm going to fray them out. And I've been using this new lighter and I'm I'm really not liking these lighters. I don't suggest them. I don't like how the lid is there. It's kind of in the way and I can't for some reason adjust the flame at all. So I don't recommend these lighters, but you're going to want to burn this now. You don't want to catch on fire. That's another thing that these things do is catch them on fire. So I'm not happy with those lighters. Um, you're going to want to squish it down with a butter knife now. And that didn't work at all. There we go. You're going to do your red one also the same way. If I back off with the light, the flame, it doesn't seem to catch. Oh, it's making a liar out of me. So I really can't suggest these lighters. It just, it seems to make a mess too. Um, or maybe I'm doing something wrong. Uh, so, um, yeah, these lighters I don't suggest. This type of lighter I do suggest. You can control the flame on these very well and it's got this end to it that you can direct it away from uh, the rest of your work. Unfortunately this is just about out. So I'm going to do this side also the same exact way. So I'm going to do the middle now and I'm going to cut it about the same size and just burn them and then I'm just going to take my uh, knife and I'm going to squish them down that way. After I finish cutting and uh, melting them down, I'm going to put some of this uh, clear foaming Gorilla Glue on it. Now um, this particular bottle I refill uh, with a bigger bottle. I like the way this bottle works better than anything that I've used so far with the Gorilla Glue. It uh, It's easier to handle and to uh, move around. Okay. 
and just smear it around and I'll let that dry and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's finished.